hello. All right, so let's go book shopping again, right? My patrons voted and they said that they enjoy come book shopping with me videos, even if they're online. And I would agree, I'm the same way. I enjoy online book shopping videos because one, we are book lovers. Uh, we like buying books or if we don't, maybe we like watching other people buy books. So I will carry that burden for you today and I will buy the books so that you don't have to. Maybe you can still get that little bit of secondhand enjoyment out of it. I have about a hundred dollars in credits to spend. So I am looking to not really spend any money out of pocket, more so use credits and gift card money that I have. Now, I am in a weird moment in my life. Basically, all of these covers, yeah, let, let me just take a little screenshot of my computer right now and insert this for you guys because all of these covers are everything and I am absolutely living for them. The thing about some is it's scary because they're new releases and I really haven't heard that much yet. Also, there's a Target and Amazon sale going on right now that happens from time to time. That is buy two, get one free. Now we've already been down the avenue with Target, um, not yet with Amazon. So today is the day, sweetie. Let's do this. Self-care. But you know what? I don't do book buying bans. That's very clear from my last vlog. But with some recent events recently, I've been spending too much money and I need to freaking stop. So there won't be another huge book purchasing like this for a while. I'll still be buying books. Don't, don't go overboard. I mean, like, don't ever pretend like I'm gonna sit here and say I'm not gonna buy books because you'll never hear me say that on this channel, but I need to stop spending money here soon. So let's just stop blabbing to death and pick out some books. And then I'm hoping to get all these books to do like an actual haul in time that the video needs to be posted. And since it's Amazon, I don't foresee that being too much of an issue. I've also pulled up this other page on Amazon that lets me see like all the editions. Cause I have this thing where UK edition is like always better and it drives me absolutely insane. So we're gonna check that out for some of these. Now, I guess I need to start screen recording. Cleopatra and Frankenstein. So uh, Cleopatra and Frankenstein, I've been hearing excellent reviews about, and also it is part of the three for the price of two. So how can you pass that up? My problem is I really do want the UK edition, but I don't know if we're, we're gonna add that to the cart right now. This cover of Acts of Service is just absolutely stunning. Like I feel like I need that, but that's pre-order. Let's see what else is part of the three for two deal um, that are hard covers around $20. The portrait of a mirror cart just in case because the writing was really good and it just sounds like something I'm gonna love. We'll see. But right now we need to find some that are part of that three for two deal. Ooh, this one, it's a pre-order. Pure color, it's not gonna be part of the deal. <laughs> do I do a pre-order? No, cause that won't show up in time, but pure color, you're gonna see that in a video coming up soon. Ooh, Ghosts. So Ghosts by Dolly Alderton is part of it. And this is one that a friend thought that I would like too. And so I am inclined to pick this up partially as well, because I love the cover so freaking much. So we've got that. What else was part of this? Girls of a certain age. Let's do a quick, um, let's just check out Goodreads for the sake of it while we're here, because that's kind of, you know, part of book shopping is looking up what the reviews are. Girls of a certain age. I love this cover. I absolutely love it. And this says feminism. Oh, it's a short story collection. Didn't know that, let's see. Darkly playful and subversive debut. Ranging in style from the magical to the terrifying to the calm tones of a self-help manual, it captures the spectrum of strategies we apply to the pain of life. Strategies we persist in pretending might actually work. Why are there not really a lot of reviews with it? Hmm, we're gonna add it to the cart because it works for the three for two. Who's heard of a certain hunger? Oh, because it's a different cover? Oh, Audible, there we go. See, this is a feminist horror, but it talks about being a food critic. She loves sex as much as she loves food. And this is a 4.04. .04. The feminine urge to slowly progress from being a food critic to eating men. <laughs> Do I need this in my life and I didn't know it? Might find some useful tips in this book, not about murder, 
obviously. But that cover, man, why is it? It is literally $34. Oh, I can't spend that right now, even, even with a credit. Okay, I wanted to look at the Harpy. I guess let's Goodreads that. This is what online book shopping is like for me. Is this what it's like for you? Just constantly going back and forth. So what I tend to do, I guess we could have this conversation quickly. What I tend to do if I am book shopping online is I go to Goodreads. Like I said, generally I don't pay too much attention to the average star rating because I don't really care about that. I look at the reviews my friends have posted. I will try to like look at quotes to get a little taste of the reading perhaps. I'll look at readers also enjoyed, and then I will look at the categories that it's listed under. So we have fiction, contemporary, magical realism, horror, gothic. Told in a dazzling musical prose, the harpy is a dark, staggering fairy tale at once mythical and otherworldly and fiercely contemporary. A novel of love, marriage, and failures of power. Man, there's a lot of three-star reviews. She makes a revenge plot because her husband has having an affair. She will hurt him three times. The couple submit to a delicate game of crime and punishment and she begins to change. I don't know, that sounds very interesting to me. And it is only $15. Do you guys just go through and add everything to the cart and then figure out what you're actually getting later? That's what I tend to do. All right, a couple that I know I've really wanted. The Woman Destroyed. Let me type this in. I just wanna own this cover. I'm gonna be blatantly honest, um, but it does sound interesting. It's three long stories that draw the reader into the lives of three women, all past their first youth, all facing unexpected crises. Philosophy, cultural, I think it's, is it translated from the French? Yes. It has a very good average rating. So we're adding that to the cart. Ooh, this is part of the three for two. It's a done deal, sweetie. The hardcover is $38. Okay, outline by Rachel Cusk. I'm pretty sure I'm adding that because first of all, this orange cover is so ugly. Well, no offense if you like it, but I don't like it at all. Um, This is contemporary cultural Greece. A novel about writing and talking, about self-expression, the desire to create. You know, I I'm just ordering it simply because I need to know. And I just heard a million and one things about it. And FOMO, I've been on the outside of the discussion for too long. Now, there's a couple more that I'm really interested in. I watched um, Rebecca Eats Books Favorites of the Year, and she discussed want and the life of the mind. Um, let's see, okay, this is part of the three for two as well. Let's look it up. The life of the mind. My friends have Snapchatted me 3,000 times as this video has been recorded. So literary fiction, mental health. This is a short one, let's see. The Love Child of Otessa Moshfe and Sally Rooney. It is piercingly intelligent and darkly funny. A novel about endings of youth, of professional aspiration, of possibility, the illusion that our minds can ever free us from tyranny of our bodies. But what is want about? Because that was the other one. Let's add that to the cart for now. And let's see who want was by so I can look that up. Lynn, there it is. Motherhood, economic anxiety, rage, and the limits of language, anger, insight, and love. I wish King of Rabbits was part of it because I really want to read this. Oh, you know what? Hmm. I know that Dear Synthurin was not part of it and I really want that. How many things do we have in our cart right now? And I certainly don't have that much gift card and credit. I wonder if that, no, that doesn't count the three for two. I need one more that's part of the two for three. I really want to pre-order acts of service, but I don't know if that one's going to be one for me or not. What is hot stew? That's what I wanted to look up because that's one that was on one of those prize winner long lists, I believe. And I absolutely love both the covers I've seen for it. Literary fiction, feminism, an insightful and ambitious novel about property, ownership, wealth, and inheritance, the place we occupy in society, class, and money. But that one's not part of, I don't like this cover actually, I like the other cover much better that I saw in there. So that's gonna be a no for now. I wonder if breasts and eggs, that is part of it. And that's one I know I wanna read. Let's add that to the cart for now. Let's proceed to check out. Okay, so I could get, I could get all of this for about $30. How many things is this? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine books for $30 is really good. Let's evaluate. Cleopatra and Frankenstein is 100% going to be part of the deal because it's three for two 
and it's one that I've heard great reviews about and I really want to read it. The Portrait of a Mirror. That one's just straight out of pocket because that's not part of it. Okay, let's skip to Ghosts. Let's look up Ghosts really quick because I didn't go over that. Which cover do you guys like better? The white one or this one? Because I really don't like this cover. Let me enlarge it real quick so you guys can see it. Not a fan. Contemporary Romance. Let's go to my want to read really quick. Because I'm not convinced that ghosts is something I'm gonna love just because it says the romance heavy part. Okay, I've added so many recently, you guys. It's, it's actually not quite right. I really wanna read Sarah Land and Hysteria. Oh, Sorrow and Bliss, let's look that up, okay? Because my friend said it was good and that was one that was on my radar anyways. It's one I wanna read. So this is like mental health. Oh, this is um, an Australian novel as well, which could be great because I think we're doing Aussie April or something like that, I think. Why, why is this the option? Please don't do this to me. I literally cannot buy. So this is what I always go to to see what options that you can purchase from Amazon as far as like what editions there are because I cannot buy this pink one. I just, I won't, I do not like it at all. Oh man. And then this one is $30, so that sucks. Ugh. We're gonna revisit that. The Woman Destroyed is part of the three for two. And that one I know I'm getting, even if it's just based on the cover alone. Cusk I know I'm getting, and that is, shoot, not part of the three for two. The Life of the Mind is, so we have one, two, three, part of it. And that one's not. Maybe this will be all that I get. This is a very sporadic type of book shopping right now, but I don't know. I think these are the ones that have been on my Amazon wish list and the additions that are available of what I want. Okay, so let's. So right now I am confirming the three for two options because I feel like they're not matching up. Ah, the Harpy's not, that's why. I think I'm gonna wait on that one then because I just haven't heard much about it. So then we have Girls of a Certain Age and Cleopatra and Frankenstein, which means I need one more. Okay, let's look up the reviews for Such a Nice Girl again because, oh, it's a very nice girl. That's why they can't find it. So this doesn't have a ton of reviews yet, I don't think. Oh, it's 27 reviews. I mean, it has a lot of DNFs, so I'm not buying that yet. I was planning on it, but I'm not. Hmm, what will the winner be? I really want motherhood and that's not part of the deal. Hmm, really want to read Devotion. I just don't know if I'm going to love that. Shoot, I need to bring Goodreads back up. This is getting a little bit harder than I thought. Okay, so I just found a new person's channel and some of their favorites of the year were A Crooked Tree, which sounded really, really good. Um, a Room Called Earth. You know what else I wanted? Under a Dark Angel's Eye, I think is the name of it. It's Patricia Highsmith. Of course it's not part of the deal. Maybe the paperback is. No. We are sure having a heck of a time finding another book, you guys. What about The Beekeeper of Aleppo? Let's see, because that sounds really interesting to me and I think that I have the potential to really like that one. Oh wow, that's really cheap. So the paperback is part of the deal, but like I'm not going to do an $8 one for free. Let's check out the books of Jacob, because I am reading that soon. But this one is 26. Ugh. Let's look up this one again. This is getting frustrating. Book shopping is not supposed to be frustrating. All right, let's look up the new me. I really like the cover. Does not have a great average reading. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check that one out. But once again, why is it so cheap? You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take the risk on ghosts. We're gonna get that because it'll be free. And then I will not feel very bad if I don't love it. This is still gonna be like $50. Nine item. Oh, it's not. Okay. Use my Amazon rewards points and use my gift card method. That's pretty good. So all these should be here by this weekend. I clicked it. <laughs> Let's see, that is a lot of books. Nine books for $38, I feel great about that. Um, you will see the very next clip of me hauling these books as they arrive to my house, but for me, that's gonna be by the time I get back from Chicago, so BRB, let's chat soon. Okay, so some time has passed. I'm home from my vacation, all the books have arrived. Let's do a quick little book haul to go over this lovely stack, because when I opened these, I was like screaming about the covers, I love all of these covers so much. It's like impossible to choose a favorite. So, you know, we hope that the inside is as lovely as the outside per usual. And let's get into the list. I guess we'll start with 
the little ones on the top and then work our way down. So there are nine books if you guys, if you guys remember, like it wasn't three seconds ago for you. A lot has happened for me since we last spoke. So let's check it out. I ended up purchasing The New Me by Hallie Butler, a bouncy, profane, highly addictive novel. It said sad girl lit, which is like my freaking jam. A dark comedy of female rage, a satirist of the horror show being sold to us as modern femininity. Sounds excellent. Number two, the most gorgeous, stunning cover. And that is The Woman Destroyed by Simone de Beauvoir. And this is translated from the French by Patrick O'Brien. I really don't know too much about this. I thought it was short stories. Yeah. Intelligent stories about the decay of passion. She draws us into the lives of three women all past their first youth, all facing unexpected crises. So we'll see, really don't know what to expect here. Then we have Breasts and Eggs by Mako Kawakami, and I've read Heaven by this author and really looking forward to this. It says, Kawakami considers the agency that women exert over their bodies with humor and empathy. I have no idea the plot of this. It says it recounts the intimate journeys of three women on the path to finding peace and the futures they can call their own. I don't know, but we will find out soon. Then we have Outline by Rachel Cusk. And oh no, this one's so damaged. I'm gonna have to get back to them about that. But in the meantime, it says, Rachel Cusk's outline is full of baking light and quiet melancholy and bodies brushing past one another in the heat. It's a subtle and utterly engrossing exploration of the ways we make ourselves known to one another in stories and anecdotes through seductions and disputes and yet remain opaque. How we sketch ourselves as outlines and find these outlines interrogated. That sounds very interesting to me. So, plus how stunning is this cover? Okay, getting into the hard covers. First, we have The Life of the Mind by Christine Smallwood, which I bought from Rachel Eats Books recommendation. I think I read this before. It is the story of an American woman on the edge, a novel about endings of youth, of professional aspiration, possibility, the illusion that our minds can ever free us from the tyranny of our bodies. So we'll see. But she had great things to say about it and it sounded very intriguing. The reviews are great, so I'm gonna check it out. And then we have this one, Girls of a Certain Age, which is short stories by Maria Adelman. And this is ranging in style from the magical to the terrifying to the calm tones of a self-help manual. Girls of a Certain Age captures the spectrum of strategies we apply to the pain of life. Strategies that we persist in pretending might actually work. This is one of my favorite covers ever, maybe. That's just so beautiful. I think I'm really gonna enjoy this. And we have another cover that I love, and that is The Portrait of a Mirror, a novel by Natasha Jukovsky. And once again, this is the one I started reading in the bookstore. It's a bit pretentious, a stunning reinvention of the myth of Narcissus as a modern novel of the manners about two young, well-heeled couples whose parallel lives intertwine over the course of a summer. It's an exploration of narcissism, desire, self-delusion, and the great mythology of love. And the writing was excellent from what I've read so far. So let's hope that continues. How beautiful. Another cover by Ghosts by Dolly Alderton. Nervous about this because it was advertised as a bit of a romance. So I don't know what to expect. It's just a tale of relationships, it says. A smart, sexy, laugh out loud romantic comedy about ex-boyfriends, imperfect parents, friends with kids, and a man who disappears the moment he says, I love you. Oh, been there, done that. <laughs> beautiful. And last, but certainly not least, the new release, Cleopatra and Frankenstein by Coco Mellers. I'm buddy reading this with a friend here soon. I couldn't pass this up. Even though I think both editions are stunning, this is the one that was available to me in the US easily. So this is what we went with. I think it's absolutely beautiful, the gray and pink. And this is addictive, humorous, and poignant debut about the shockwaves caused by one couple's impulsive marriage. And I've heard excellent things about this so far as well. So yes, hi, hello. Whoever is making these covers and these spines, you deserve a raise. You are excellent at your job. Keep up the good work, sweetie. Beautiful, beautiful books. Which of these covers is your favorite? Tell me in the comments below because I was talking to my boyfriend about it. We definitely had very different 
opinions about the style. But hey, yeah, thanks for book shopping with me. It's always fun even if we can't get to a store and it did help me not purchase books when I was in Chicago this past weekend because I knew I was coming home to this beautiful pile of books. Uh, so yeah, let me know what books you've hauled recently. Have you read any of these? Do you plan to read any of these? And if you have, which ones should I prioritize reading first? Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.